hi guys uh, welcome to my channel audio video me uh, today I'm going to demonstrate you the media capabilities of Xbox one uh, recently DLNA support was introduced uh, to uh, Xbox one in October 2014 um, uh, to start with I'm going to demonstrate you how to uh, stream music and videos from your uh, Mac to your Xbox one uh, second, I'm going to do the same with uh, the PC uh, using Windows 7 and third, I'm going to use a tablet to stream uh, videos and music uh, to Xbox One. And uh, I'm going to also uh, show you the Blu-ray uh, function in Xbox One and uh, going to connect a USB drive uh, to play uh, music and videos and I'm gonna show you when you connect an Android phone to the USB port then what happens and also if you connect your iPod directly to the USB port of Xbox one then what happens uh, now uh, this might help someone uh, who is uh, looking to purchase Xbox one uh, as a media center for their living room uh, so they will get an idea of uh, what it is capable of. Okay, uh, let's go and start with iMac. Okay guys, uh, one thing I want to mention here is before you want to use uh, any media capabilities of Xbox One, you need to install few steps and enable an option in the settings. And I'll show you what apps needs to be installed. Uh, so you just go to... Uh, the Microsoft Store go to apps and uh, just uh, select all apps then first app you need to install is called media player and uh, second one is called Xbox uh, music uh, third one is Xbox video fourth one is blu-ray player uh, so once you have installed all those uh, then you will be able to use the media capabilities of Xbox one Okay guys on your Mac uh, you need to download an application called the ps3 media server uh, The link to download the app is in the video description below uh, So once you have uh, downloaded and installed the app on your Mac uh, just uh, open the application go to navigation sharing settings and here uh, uh, just click on add and then and then uh, just select the folder in which your music and videos are or just uh, you can you can select as many folders as you like or you can just uh, put your music and videos in one uh, folder uh, once you have done that uh, uh, just click save and uh, uh, and if necessary just uh, restart the server uh, to refresh it with the new settings okay guys uh, once you have downloaded ps3 media server app on the Mac and uh, you have selected uh, uh, your folder in which you got your uh, music and videos uh, download any DLNA uh, app or any app that supports DLNA on your Android tablet, Android phone uh, or your iOS device or Windows mobile phone device. In this instance I'm using an Android uh, tablet and uh, I, uh, I have downloaded a app that supports DLNA protocol and it's called uh, Scafita. Um, I believe this app is not available on Play Store anymore, uh, but uh, uh, this is the best app I've ever used. Uh, uh, if, if you can uh, install uh, Scafita uh, on, on your Android tablet or on your iOS device, then uh, search for another app called uh, iMedia uh, Server. Uh, 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 I will demonstrate both apps. What I have found with iMedia Server is that when you try to play uh, different file formats from it onto your uh, Xbox, when you want to stream it, then it doesn't play back uh, videos properly. Uh, okay, 
so for this one I'm using Skafita and uh, uh, you choose a media source uh, in this instance is uh, my iMac and it's the PS3 media server iMac so I'm gonna select this and uh, I choose a player I'm gonna choose my Xbox one Xbox one and browse and play media so here uh, the folder I've selected uh, on my Mac inside PS3 app is called Julio Iglesias so all the videos and music is in that folder uh, so first I'm gonna play the video uh, and uh, uh, here it is uh, I'm just gonna show you on the screen as well uh, so let's play this video and let's press play and as you can see that instantly it played on the Xbox one okay so I'm gonna stop it and uh, Let's play a song. Let's play Bruno Mass. As you can see, that Xbox One instantly switched to uh, uh, Xbox uh, Music app. Okay, next I'm gonna demonstrate you uh, how to stream uh, music and videos from uh, PC using Windows 7 or later okay on your PC it's uh, pretty simple it's not like uh, Mac uh, what you need to do is just uh, make sure that your PC is connected to the same network as Xbox one and uh, then go ahead and open Windows Media Player in Windows Media Player uh, search for a tab called stream click on that then click on more streaming options and then this window will open that would demonstrate you the show devices on just scroll down and uh, Xbox one should be in the list and uh, just from the drop down menu just make sure that it's allowed and then click OK and uh, uh, just go back to your Xbox one now okay on your Xbox one go to media player and uh, search for your PC and this is my PC right here and uh, just I'm just gonna go to any videos and uh, just gonna go to all videos here is a video so this video is uh, uh, played uh, is getting played from my PC see if we can play any music okay, okay music all music Okay, now uh, basically Xbox One is pulling this music from my PC and playing. Okay guys, uh, now I'm gonna stream music and video uh, from my Samsung tablet, Android tablet to Xbox One uh, using an app called uh, Scafita, okay, uh, which I don't play store anymore. Uh, okay, let's see. And uh, I'm going to choose the media source, which is my Samsung tablet, uh, which is Xbox One. And uh, browse the media, so just going to play music first. And uh, all music. Okay. And instantly on Xbox One, it switched to the uh, music app and start playing the music. Okay. Uh, now play a video
and it's just instantly switched to video app on X1. Okay, I also want to show you uh, uh, an application called uh, Xbox uh, Smart Glass, uh, which you can install on your uh, tablet, Windows, or Android, or iOS uh, tablet like iPad, and uh, control your Xbox. Okay, next I'm going to explain you how to connect your iMac uh, to your Xbox One uh, via HDMI. Uh, you're going to need an adapter uh, display port to HDMI. Uh, connect the display port uh, side of the adapter to iMac and then connect a HDMI cable to that adapter and uh, uh, the other end of HDMI goes into the input port on the HDMI input port on your Xbox One. Uh, once you have made the physical connection, uh, you can set up your Mac to uh, display out as to external monitor display it out as mirror or extended display. I have I've set it up as extended display uh, because that's my preferred uh, method uh, to use it as presentation or uh, if I'm doing any kind of editing or anything, I can just have another screen as a reference. Uh, this becomes handy if I'm playing games or watching anything on Xbox One via apps or Blu-ray and if I want to jump onto my Mac and want to do editing or any kind of other uh, uh, work that requires me to have two displays then I can instantly have two displays rather than connecting my Mac to something else okay uh, so all you have to do is uh, go to uh, the app called uh, TV so here it is you just click on it and as long your Mac is connected uh, and configured either as mirror or extended uh, to external display it will uh, appear instantly uh, on, on your monitor or TV to which Xbox one is connected to uh, so uh, there you go you can have your Mac connected uh, to your Xbox One as to use it as mirroring or uh, uh, extended display. Okay, next I'm going to show you the Blu-ray function of Xbox One. Uh, uh, Xbox One can output up to uh, 1080p resolution at the moment uh, and uh, it can output uncompressed seven, up to 7.1 uh, audio uh, whatever your blu-ray is like DTS or uh, Dolby Digital uh, it can output uh, that sound uh, okay there you go and it's just playing the blu-ray there's a you can control it uh, via your controller as well 